Hobie Islands are best suited to trailers, but they're also able to be rooftopped, both the Adventure Island and the Tandem Island. I wanted the ability to be able to travel with my caravan, set up camp somewhere, and then take my Hobie Island out for a sail. The best way I figured out to do this was to rooftop the Hobie Island on top of my tray top ute. Then I could tow the caravan behind, load and unload the Hobie Island as required, and be able to take it with me as I traveled. I just want to share with you how I do it, to give you ideas for how you might want to achieve this. <laughs> my tow vehicle is a Mazda BT-50, it's got an 8 foot tray and I fitted it with a ladder rack. It also has a crane. The crane's actually there to load a motorbike, it wasn't there for the boat but it comes in handy for that. Of course you don't need a crane to load a Hobie onto the roof, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. This just happens to be how I do it. So the actual mounting surface, here I've got actually a moulded uh, hull bracket which came with the boat which I've mounted on the front of the ute on the ladder rack and the rear ladder rack. I've just put a moulded piece of foam which is shaped in really nicely and the boat sits there really nice. Lifted up via the crane. Also got this box here which holds all the expensive bits like the Mirage Drive, lockable. So here's the island nearly ready for loading. We're going to put the uh, outriggers on top because of the motorbike up there, uh, it'll be too wide if the outriggers are on the side, so I pull them off and I stack them on the top. I have a custom made seat, which has been laid down flat with a groove in there, which secures the mast in place. All strapped in the centre, sand wheels are uh, secured in the back. So I've used a couple of tie downs to secure the pontoons on top, like so. So she's a nice, neat, narrow package. The next step is to attach a lifting strap. So I've added one here, just runs directly over the top and it's looping through the lifting handles. When it lifts, it'll lift from here. Uh, we'll put some pressure, inwards pressure on the pontoons, but that's never a problem, they're quite strong. Okay, so the crane, crane handle attaches onto the lifting strap. Like so. So, boat's been raised up by the crane, the back end's lowered in there, the front end's lowered in there, and then I just got to adjust her so the well hole, which is where it's really strong, is directly over the cradle, so that way we won't get hull deformation, and I can run a strap through the hole, under here and up the other side, so it'll never slide forward or backwards. So I just pass the front tie down strap over the boat, through the well, pull it through, through the gap, and then Pass it up through there, too hard to film it with one hand. There she is, passed up through and then hanging down the other side. There she is, all tied on, strapped down the other side. So the rear end is just tied down with the standard under over uh, kayak tie down technique. Nice and secure. Ready to rock and roll. Takes about 10 to 15 minutes. If I didn't have to put the pontoons on the top, it'd take about three to four minutes. So advantages and disadvantages of rooftopping the Hobie Island. So obviously the biggest disadvantage is that it takes longer. Getting it up on the roof is a bit of a pain and getting it down is a bit of a pain. Whereas unloading and loading it from a trailer is much faster. So you'd be better off trailing the Hobie over rooftopping it if you didn't have to tow anything, in my opinion. However, if you want to have that flexibility to be able to go out and caravan and adventure all over the country and be able to get your Hobie down in almost any sort of location, which they're really well suited for because of their flexibility, then rooftopping's the way to go. If you have a more standard vehicle instead of a tray top ute like I've got, then uh, rooftopping the Hobie Island's probably going to be cheaper, simpler and easier. You won't need a crane, you won't, uh, won't need anything so elaborate uh, because uh, there's already established equipment that you can purchase 
to do that job. You, know, you can get the mounting brackets, you can get various systems for loading and unloading the boat by hand off the roof of the vehicle. Hope this helped. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. I have a bunch of adventures on the channel. Uh, you can check out the playlist, the Hobie Adventure Island Challenge lineup for various adventures that you can do in the Hobie Island. And I hope to see you out on the waves one day. Cheers. If you enjoy this kind of positive adventure content, please like, subscribe, and check out a few of these other adventures.